We're getting ready to install an outdoor receptacle, right? Yes. Yeah. Before it rains. <laughs> yeah, before it rains. We're hoping we can get it all done before it rains. But anyway, we thought you'd show you right quick how we intend to do this, and we hope that it works. It will work. You think so? Yes. So anyway, here's what we're <laughs> getting ready to do. And uh, Delilah is here to help. Aren't you, Delilah? Huh? She says, you, it's going to rain, Dad. I want oh, the house. Yeah, Delilah wants to go in. <laughs> but anyway, first let me... Here, let's let Delilah go in. Jeez. Go on. Go on. Scared. Here. There she goes. I'm not we'll coming in. We'll be in in a minute. We'll be in in a minute. You know, she always wants us to follow. Okay, here's uh, first let me show you what we did here. Now this is what we did before. Let me get down here close so you can see it. You see these two screws right here. Now when we were in the process of uh, insulating the trailer and of course uh, eventually putting on the interior skin, what we did, we installed some 3 8 plywood behind this right up against the, the skin of the trailer. And then we marked exactly where we wanted the outdoor receptacle to go. And that's what this screw represents here. This represents the center of where we want the outdoor receptacle to go. What this screw represents here is a uh, television antenna inlet. Yes. Yeah, and Deb's holding it there in her hand. <laughs> right there. We'll show you more about that here in just a little bit. But uh, anyway, what we're getting ready to do here, this screw here, like I said, represents the center of where the receptacle will go. Now what I did, this is the box that I'm going to be installing right here. And uh, we, uh, I, what I did on the table saw, I took a piece of half inch plywood and cut this half inch plywood block here to exactly match the dimensions of this box. And what we're going to do now is we're going to remove this screw right here and then we're going to go ahead and screw that block on there and uh, I'll be using a larger screw right here to do that so it'll hold it nice and secure and that will be my pattern that I use to go around and hopefully my vibrating multi-tool will make quick work of this so we're fixing to see what happens here so give me a second to get this removed and put the other one on and I also what I did when I drilled the hole here, I drilled the hole larger than the screw so that the screw will spin freely in there because I really don't want it, you know, messing up the block. I just want it to be able to go into this, this pre-drilled hole right here. And I kind of get that. eyeballed the way I want it. All right, now in a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and use this as a pattern and use my vibrating multi-tool and see if we can get this hole cut out. some clearancing uh, had to get creative with the side of a drill bit in order to fit around little nubs on the side of the box and we're almost there I think I got to do just a little bit more it's not fitting as tight and flat as I really want it to so we're going to work on it just a little bit more here close to about as flat as I'm going to get it here. I finally got this all trimmed out here. 
and had to do a lot of clearances for little bitty nubs here and there around the box right here and as you can see right here I missed I screwed up right yes you did my new trailer so I guess what we're gonna have to do after we get this all put back together is I'll have to get some sandpaper lightly sand that and then maybe we can find some duple color or something like that and touch this up so I guess that means that I'm not perfect right you are not perfect I'm shocked Bill is not perfect <sighs> anyway <laughs> um, what I wanted to I had to go with a deep box and I actually preferred to use a different kind of box than this, but guess what? After searching through all the different electrical supply houses, including Lowe's and Home Depot today, this is the best I could find. Um, lots of uh, inventory is way down. That's how I need to say that. Inventory is way down, and it's really hard to find what you want. So I had to settle for this box. Um, the main reason why I had to have an extra deep box like this is because my wall is two inches thick here After all the insulating and everything that we did So this is the box that we settled on and those are the reasons why Now so I'm bringing the wire in through the back and because it is tight working in there I went ahead and ran the wire through put my connector on go ahead and cinched it down and now when we come back in a little bit hopefully you'll see this box uh, all secured in here and screwed screwed in and set in correctly and then we'll go ahead and hook up the receptacle out here and then we'll go inside and show you what we're doing in there all right we got it all hooked up here got everything all mounted this uh, this cover I forgot where we got this did we get it at Amazon dear uh, 99 percent sure okay anyway we'll post a link in the description where we got this cover and uh, this is what we used on the red trailer and it worked real well and it seals up real good it's got a really good uh, gasket all around the back of it that seals well of course but you know me and I don't know where it went but I always run a little thin bead of Lexel all around the back uh, and which is what I did too for a little bit more insurance on that that's and, why the uh, WD-40 is out <laughs> yeah <laughs> WD-40 is out because I made a mess What'd you do with that, Lexa? I probably put it up on the cabinet uh, so I wouldn't step on it. Because you're so efficient. All right. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, you can get that Lexel also in a little squeeze tube. It's like $6 for a squeeze tube. And, and it's, it's always good to carry some of that Lexel with you in a squeeze tube because it works so well as sealing, at sealing stuff off and things. It's really good for that. And uh, the little squeeze tube is squeeze squeeze tube tube. Is easy to manage. Mm -hmm. But anyway... It worked out real well and it's on there now we're going to go ahead while we're out here go ahead and mount this little puppy which uh, if I can get it open here which is our uh, antenna inlet should we decide to use a portable TV antenna later like we did on the red trailer so anyway it'll be here or if you have if we ever happen to be at a resort where they offer cable TV, <laughs> which I doubt if we ever will be, you know, we'd have this as well for that. So, anyway, now we're going to take care of it. Okay, here it is. We got this, uh, this installed here, and it was real easy. All you had to do was uh, drill a hole big enough in the center here for the cable to go through you know and of course we went ahead and attached the cable because this thing is threaded on the other side so we went ahead and just screwed on the the regular uh, cable to the back of it before we ran it through drill four holes uh, ran the screws in and it too has a really good gasket around it and this is all done now and just keep in mind on this which is something that I had forgotten from when we did the red trailer um, these covers that you get, and I don't know if we got it at Amazon or we might have got it Pretty at sure another place. I got it at Amazon. Yeah, but we'll, here again, like I said a minute ago, we will put that in the description. Um, but they're designed to use a square type receptacle. Would you go ahead and get down and show the square receptacle there? They're designed to use the square type receptacle. And I could have went with a black one out here. But uh, since Deb is making sure that everything we do on the inside is white, and she did not walk into Lowe's with me when I went in to get this, I just didn't want to take a chance. 
you know. <laughs> Black would have been better. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Black would have been better. So now we go inside and we proceed to run the rest of our wiring and go ahead and get this all hooked up and we'll show you how we're doing it on the inside. All right, folks, this is the next day and we got everything all done and we got so wrapped up in what we were doing and we had stuff outside. We were trying to beat the rain and everything that uh, we didn't take time to film a lot, but I'm sure you'll be able to see what we got done and how we did it. Don't you think? Probably. 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 You look bright and cheery this morning. I'm trying. I'm faking it well. <laughs> <laughs> Deb is not a morning person. Mm -hmm. She's not a night person. She's a middle of the day person, right? Yeah, about 10 to about 7. <laughs> about 10 to about 7. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we got it all, um, all wired up and everything, and we're going to show you how it all worked out. And I'm trying to think. I don't think that we had these panels done before. And, you know, there's a panel that goes there, of course, and that's the panel right there that you see. I took it off so you'll be able to see what we did here. But uh, these are the balances. We got the balances built that cover the wiring that goes through here, if you'll remember. And then, of course, this balance above the television covers some wiring. If you remember, I think in the last video that wasn't there. And then, of course, we have the other panel over there covering that column over there where there'll be more wiring ran in that at a later date. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to show you here, we got, uh, we got the wiring done. Now down here, down below, is where, I don't know if I can get down. Let me see if I can get down here lower so you can see. And yeah, it's probably hard to see, and that's a good thing I went ahead and wired everything up outside. <clears throat> but the outdoor plug is just behind, right in there, down in there. Let me see if I can get a better shot. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. And then, of course, uh, we got the wiring coming up to the uh, receptacle that now powers the TV rather than a drop cord that we have to walk across. Yay! No more <laughs> drop cords! <laughs> no more drop cords to step across. Isn't that awesome? But um, I went ahead and pulled the stair tread off here uh, for a variety of reasons. For one thing you can see how we ran the main wire which is this one right here. This is the one that's heading out towards the outside receptacle. Now what we did first, instead of going straight to the outside receptacle, we went up first to the TV receptacle and then came out of the box of the TV receptacle and went right back down. And the main reason why I did that, if you'll remember uh, in the previous clips, uh, that particular box didn't have but just one single outlet coming out the back and there wasn't enough room to tie wires through the side side outlets so we didn't uh, we didn't mess with that and I ended up using a little bit more wire because of that but uh, this is the way we ended up doing this so everything would work so first the power is coming up to the TV receptacle coming off of the TV receptacle and going back down to the outdoor plug outside now the TV cable where we hooked up the TV cable we took out a coiled up right there uh, we'll probably go ahead and run that at a later date. We're not even sure if we'll mess with a TV antenna this time, right? Well, we didn't use it that much before because our phones give us emergency alerts because of weather. And we watch TV with our we screen mirror, our phones. Right. Um, so we may or may not get an antenna. We have not yeah. made that decision. See what we do, we, uh, we're we set up, we have, uh, let's see, right now we have Hulu and Peacock, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, Hulu and Peacock, and we pay a, a little bit more than the minimum fee for Hulu, cause, and that gives us the ability to download when we have service, right? right? And, um, and Peacock is the same way. I think you can get Peacock for free. Unless you want to download, right. and then it's four ninety nine. Yeah, like five, five bucks, bucks a month or so. <laughs> so what we do is we download uh, when we know we have service, and we can download enough ahead of time that'll cover us when we're not going to have service, so we can watch our favorite programs, and we don't really watch that much TV anyway. Just you know? at night. Just at night. And, and first thing in the morning. We and a little YouTube. bit of YouTube first thing in the morning, <laughs> and we have YouTube Premium, which also allows us to download our favorite people that we follow when we have service and then we watch them at our convenience right. of a morning while we're drinking coffee and waking up. Those enough of that. Anyway, back to this. So 
this, this is the way we have this all hooked up. And I do want to mention one thing, you know, some of you sharp-eyed electricians out there are going to notice that this is, this is not the extra deep box. And you're right, it's not. And I'll tell you why. Couldn't find any, anywhere. This is all I could find was this. And it's a little shallower than normal for this kind of, this many wires. But I was very, very, very careful when I trimmed my wires and I was very, very careful uh, making my connections and uh, when I folded the wires back into the box. I mean, it's the best I could do. Now, <laughs> still though, that is 10 times better than the motorhome we had. Remember the motorhome we yeah, had there? Yeah, that. Yeah, they were maybe an inch deep, you know, and they had the same amount of wires coming through some of those at a time too. And granted, it was a 1989 model, you know, and maybe they've changed since then. But uh, I don't know. I haven't seen the walls get any thicker to accommodate a thicker box. So I'm thinking no. Yeah, a deeper box. I should say deeper box, not thicker. Anyway, and some of you will also uh, notice that I'm using. Uh, 20 amp receptacles which you can tell what a 20 amp receptacle is by that little uh, that little side side slot right there and do I really need 20 amp receptacles no not really as far as the power is consuming but the main reason why I went with the 20 amp receptacles is all of my wiring in here is number 12 and Number 12, of course, is a little bit bigger, and the terminals on 20 amp receptacles are more accommodating to a larger wire. That's all there is to it. So that's why I did what I did. Oh, and well, while we're here, something else. Uh, you can see there is my 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This is my 50 amp automatic transfer switch and we will be covering those in a future video because we are going to be uh, with our battery bank and everything, we do have it set up to get to solar panels installed down in Florida, when in December? Uh, we'll be in Florida in December. Yeah, sometime in well, December <clears throat> to get the solar panels. To, close to Tallahassee. Yeah, somewhere in that, yeah, right in, in that area. we'll go on down into Florida. Exactly. After we get done there. Right, so this trailer, when we get all done with it, is not gonna be a RV park queen we are going to be set up where we can go boondocking, you know, which yes. we're going to do. Yes. And we're really excited about being able to do that. You know, slightly nervous, but excited. Uh, well, to, you know. Marvin and Mary's going to come along with us. <laughs> Hold yeah. our hands. Since Marvin, since Marvin designed the battery bank and everything, and he pretty much designed the system, in case we have any kind of issues, he can be there to help me if I have anything I need to That's right. ask about. And we'll be covering all that in future videos as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what else to say. You know, we're getting real close to time to put the flooring down. Yay! Yeah, I well, know. Actually, we're starting on the bathroom next. Well, I know. Bathroom next. And uh, we got all the 120 volt circuits ran now. Yes. We're done and with how that. How many feet of wire did we buy? 200? 200 feet. And, and we, we had this much left. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we bought 200 feet of wire, just so you'll know, uh, for all the 120 volt circuits. And that's what we had left. And it's all number 12 three wire it is not number 12 two with ground this is number 12 three wire because it is s o o w cable which is similar to drop cord cable and there are three separate wires in three separate jackets a white one a black one and a green one and they're all number 12 so anyway that's what we used and we've we've discussed that before why i prefer to do that you had the breaker panel open was there a reason yes i did <laughs> and i'm sorry i appreciate you pointing that out the outside receptacle is on that circuit right there where you see that gfci breaker the one with the little uh, white button on it so yes it is on a uh, gfci breaker anything else babe nope nope nothing else i don't think so we just gonna get our day started and the next videos we hope will be showing the bathroom almost done well we're going to show <laughs> what we're doing to the bathroom oh okay and then show the bathroom okay. done <laughs> yeah i'm sure they'd like to see a little bit of that okay i hope anyway i hope we're keeping these interesting enough i do too anyway <laughs> and are you still mad at me because i screwed up outside no you're forgiven I am. Yeah. <laughs> she forgave me. We'll fix it. Anyway, folks, this is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And as we always say, and we always will, 
we're not camping. We're living. You all get out there and do some living yourself, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye.